hey y'all welcome to my channel if you're already subscribed thank you so much for coming back to see this video and if you're new welcome i am bethany shanae my channel is dedicated to documenting my journey to lose over 120 pounds through diet and exercise i do my best to post every weekday including weekly update videos every monday at 10 a.m central standard time so if you enjoy this video please make sure you like and subscribe it will help my channel out a lot quick disclaimer i am not a nutritionist or a medical professional in any way and this is not medical advice i am simply sharing my experience on my journey to get healthy and any tips or tricks i find along the way so this video is going to be very quick very short very different from the usual videos um, I am currently on my lunch break and I just want to make sure I get this out there for you guys. This is regarding the month of March challenge. I'm going to be honest, I don't really want to do another challenge. I, at least not a dietary challenge. I think I want to do a March move challenge where I aim to hit 10,000 steps every single day. I think let's do Monday through Friday. Just, just because I feel like I've fallen so off track um, I did take a week break last week for week four, and I'm still getting back in the groove of it. I did eat carbs this past weekend, and um, I also went to the rodeo on the 1st of March. So I had just finished my dairy-free carnivore challenge, and I really, I had a lot of fun, you know, and I decided I wasn't going to beat myself up about it because honestly, this weight loss journey isn't just about losing the weight. It's also about finding balance. Um, and I really want to figure out if I can be, if I'm an abstainer, an abstainer, or if I'm someone that can have self-control and do smaller doses of things. So abstainers are people that absolutely have to abstain, like people who can't have one chip because they'll end up eating the whole bag. Um, and then people who can have small amounts are the people that can have, you know, two, three chips and not go off the rails. Um, so I'm trying to find balance. I don't want my life to be completely controlled by something. Um, yes, I'd like to be in control, but I don't want to feel like I'm never going to have a French fry again. You know, it's not that that's important in my life, but I would like to know that while I'm losing the weight, I'm also developing the skills that I need to be able to once in a while enjoy the moment and sometimes i want to be a part of it like i live in america and actually all over the world food is such a big community culture thing where we sit down we have meals together you know here we do a lot of happy hour after work not at my job but you know it's a thing you hear about um and i've done before and i want to know that me choosing to lose this weight and go carnivore does not mean that i'm never going to be able to partake in those things so when moments come and I have the opportunity to practice balance, I'm taking the opportunity, but I'm still taking those opportunities in moderation. I'm not taking the opportunity every single chance I can. It's my coworker's birthday today, so they brought donuts and fresh baked cookies, which got delivered to my desk and they were warm and they smelled so good. And I felt so rude saying no, but I've just had I just had carbs over the weekend and I'm trying to get back on track, you know? So I had to make that choice. I'm not saying that every opportunity where I can practice balance, I'm going to. Um, I'm just saying that I'm being selective and I'm not completely removing those things from ever being in my life again. So with that quick little ramble being said, um, for this month, I really just want to focus on getting back on track with carnivore. Um, you know, all animal product. I actually think I want to try making my own carnivore mayonnaise sometime this month as well. Um, but where I feel like I'm struggling most to get back on track is moving. So I want to do a move challenge for the month of March, hit my 10,000 steps Monday through Friday, um, or let's say at least five days a week, because you know, if I have a really active Sunday, but I'm just whooped on Wednesday, I don't want to feel like I failed. So five days a week, 10,000 steps, and maybe after week two, you know, each week we'll, we'll revise. If I feel like, okay, 10,000 steps, five days a week is going great. It's super easy now. I'm back on track. Then we'll, you know, incorporate a certain amount of days a week uh, going to the gym or using the my at-home gym, essentially. Um, so that's really the goal for this month. And let's add in hitting a gallon of water a day. I want to get my water goal back on track. Um, so yeah, moving and water is going to be the challenge for the month of March. I know for my February month review, I 
forgot to include my measurements. I did not take any before or after photos. And the reason why is I did the weigh in on the morning of the first, which I remembered, but I totally forgot to set out my measuring tape and um, the outfit that I wear for my before and after photos. Um, and I didn't remember that I forgot to do those until three days later. And I was bloated. And when I did my measurements, like I knew I had beer, I had been eating carbs over the weekend. So it was just, I was like, you know what, we're going to stop with this. I do want to go back and use the in body scale. I mentioned that I think in the week two or three video. Um, so I do want to go back and use that scale. I have not gone this week. I probably won't go this weekend, so I might go the following weekend, but that's good. That'll give me some time to get back in the routine of moving and hopefully lifting some weights, even if it's at home. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for March. I just am so grateful. This morning, I got a shout out in um, Carnivore and 24's video, and that has to be one of my favorite newer Carnivore channels. Like, that family, they just have the sweetest, like... There's this innocence in their kindness that I just love. I feel like I try to be nice. I'm not, I feel like I'm a naturally very nice person, but I have learned to have a lot of bite as well. So I appreciate people who still have that type of kindness to them. Cause I feel like I don't have that anymore and I really enjoy it. And I just, I love their channel. I love everything they do. I love seeing them together and that was my first shout out. Like I literally started tearing up at work. But yeah, I just, I just wanted, I say thank you so much. That was so sweet. And actually I have a company party on April 6th. Um, everybody's going to Top Golf, but I think that's actually the same day as Carnivore Kips Carnivore Meetup. And I was already wanting to go, but I'm in a little Corolla. She's driven to Texas from California with me twice now. Um, and I just wasn't sure if I wanted to commit to an eight hour drive. But then I saw that uh, Carnivore in 24 might be going. And I'm like, I don't know. I kind of want to meet everybody. I've never been to, Al I think he's in Alabama, Bama Car Carnivore Kip. But um, I've never been to Alabama. That'd be pretty cool. I don't, I think I have to drive through two states to get there. Um, don't, don't come to my channel for geography. You're going to fail miserably. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so. That, that video this morning to come into work and turn on my, my YouTube and watch and see that I got a notification was just, it was so nice and it really made my day. And that's why I just, honestly, I needed that. It reminded me why I'm doing my channel. I'm not doing my channel to be perfect. I'm not. And I am not a perfectionist, but I'm definitely someone that I like to deliver my expectation and you know, with my videos, I feel like I just got too caught up in making sure I hit all my points, make sure that, you know, I articulate everything properly, that the background isn't too crazy. And honestly, once I started recording in the garage and I realized in hindsight, I hated the background. So I felt less motivated, less excited to record. And, you know, I realized I can post long videos in port, you know, in this kind of style versus like sideways landscape. It looks a little funny if you watch it on a computer, but hey, it still does the trick. So I realized, you know what, that video, just seeing that video today, it motivated me and it reminded me, just do it. Share who you are, share what you're doing. And I'm not here to be perfect. I'm not here to get it all right. You know, in the first week, the first month, heck the first year, it doesn't, I don't have to get it right. I'm just doing what I can when I can. And I'm sharing my experience on the way along the way, because I know somewhere out there, there's someone else that's going to, if not already, is having a similar experience to me. Um, and yeah, I just, I want to just say thank you so much to uh, Carnivore and 24. I appreciate your shout out. Thank you. Um, and yeah, so I hope anybody who watches this is going to set some type of move goal for the month of March. I feel like maybe the months that, that start with the M, like March and May, I think those are the only two. We should do like move goals. I think that'd be kind of fun. And I kind of want to take a break on seeing what I what else I can take out in my diet. I just want to focus on being carnivore, enjoying the diet. I'm getting comfortable telling people. I'm not telling a lot of people, but I'm definitely getting more comfortable discussing it. And I feel like I just want to enjoy that. So for the month of March, it was 10,000 steps a day, five days a week, and getting back to hitting my 1,000, I'm sorry, my one gallon of water per day. Um, that would be every day. 
um, for the water goal. And then I hope to get out, what's today, Wednesday the 6th. I hope to get out my electrolyte mix video, if not by this weekend, early next week. Because I've already got it recorded. I made my own electrolyte mix. I've been using it. I love it. I feel freaking fantastic. It's so cheap per serving. Like I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So make sure you come back for that. Um, and again, if you enjoy this video or anything else you've seen on my channel, please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell so you get notified when I release the electrolyte video. I also have a couple of recipe videos that I have already got recorded that I just need to get around to editing and get out. Um, I feel like I'm getting back in the groove of picking up my camera, which is also my phone and recording things so yeah i should be getting back to daily videos so thank you guys so much for coming to see this the, not this week's video but today's video but i appreciate anybody that came by um so make sure you like comment share subscribe thanks again i'll see you next time bye